Oh my gosh, it's so bad. This thing was definitely burning wool. You guys ready to see the new engine? So I found an engine on Facebook Marketplace for a really good price. So come with me, I'm gonna go pick it up. I'm gonna show you guys what it is. And I'm also gonna tear it down and show you guys how I clean the pistons and all that. So let's get started, y'all. <laughs> to pick up this uh fourth gen accurate teal motor here so yeah i'm about to put it in the truck yeah i got it i didn't know this damn thing had work lights man but yeah here we go the new motor new motor man so this motor is actually came off of a uh, 2012 Acura TL as you can see it's a J3784 so got this one for a pretty good price and what's awesome about it is this one came with brand new timing belt water pump timing belt tensioner and uh, the pulleys what's even more awesome is the cylinder heads are pretty much rebuilt they're already decked brand new valves also it has a brand new bank two camshafts so this one had a camshaft issue and it's got a brand new camshaft on this one so this one's looking really nice so with the j3784 the crank sensor on this one is actually on the oil pan we're gonna have to swap pulleys on this one because well we're gonna be using this crank sprocket because this one is gonna be reading the uh, crank signals from. This is how you go J37 swap right here, guys. With the J37A4, you gotta use this one right here. Before I take this apart, I have to take the transmission off of the old motor here and take all the parts off of it, like the pre-cut, the leads, the engine mount bracket, and the axles. Pretty much just strip this whole motor down and I'm gonna keep the cylinder heads on this one and this cylinder heads i'm pretty much most likely gonna go sell it because i'm not gonna be using this style heads let's go ahead and strip this one down y'all Clutch still looks pretty good. Pressure plate. Got some some hot spots, but so it's still good. Fingers are got some wear on them, but still good. Lightweight flywheel is still good, guys. I need to take this thing apart. I need to see if the pistons are good. So, hi Lily. <laughs> All right, I got the heads off. And these heads are actually, look at that. Brand new valves, intake exhaust valves. Man, these things are looking nice. Look at that. And this one's brand new also. I'll flip it up later on, but I'm probably gonna end up selling these 
Man, they're so nice, man. I got the block here in front of me. And this is really what I wanted to see. I wanted to see the cylinder walls. Make sure they're nice and clean. Look at that, it looks pretty good, man. Looks pretty good to me. All right guys, I'm super happy with this motor. Uh, hopefully I get an engine sent tomorrow. I'll be taking this motor completely, completely apart, even though it was fully rebuilt. Uh, the cylinder heads was fully rebuilt. So I'll think about upgrading the uh, the piston rods, but I don't know, I don't know if I, I don't really have enough money for that, but that would be a great upgrade but we'll see guys the next day oh, what a beautiful morning 8 a.m and they just got me a nice little engine stand half a ton engine stand and for like 60 bucks man let's go what's up y'all it's a few days later all right well you know me i don't trust people uh, especially with mechanical work so today i'm gonna take the pistons out and we're gonna check the piston rings and make sure they're good. The guy that sold me this engine said, hey, the piston, the piston rings are good. You know, they put them back and stuff. I don't trust that, man. I have to check it out myself, guys. So that's what we're gonna do today. And tomorrow the heads are coming in. Uh, sneak peek, y'all, check this out. So let's get to my toolbox. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be in a new setup, man. Can't wait to put that in. Oh, by the way, I got new lights. So we're gonna see and make videos much better. This is a pickup tube O-ring, and this thing is old. That's why you gotta check other people's work, man. I gotta clean all this up. I numbered each cylinder, because I'm gonna take out each and every piston and inspect all the piston rings and inspect all the bearings, make sure it's good because this is the 2012 TL engine and I want to make sure that this thing, it won't be burning oil or anything. All right. We'll go ahead and take, a, take number one off. Now yeah, the crank looks pretty healthy and smooth. I don't see no scratches or gouges. And the main bearing on the cap. Check it out. See, it looks pretty good too. This is piston number one. As you guys can see, there's a whole bunch of burnt up oil and gunk on the oil control ring. And that's not good, guys. See all the buildup. Now, this does have 140,000 miles on this motor. Okay, this is the uh, J37A. As you can see that one, this was uh, probably less than 75,000 miles on it. Looks a lot healthier though. See the oil control ring at the bottom, two piston rings up top. Compared to the J37, A4 with 140,000 miles. Wow, look at that y'all. You guys see the piston squirters right there? It's pretty cool on the J37. There it is. Some of the walls look pretty good to me. Piston rings, not so good, guys. 
So I definitely got to replace all the rings, which is, uh, oh my gosh, it's so bad. This thing was definitely burning oil. Jeez. Got all my pistons here. Gonna go throw them in a parts washer, yo. I'll show you that before and after. All right, y'all, check it out. Got the pistons all cleaned up. So yeah, I'm pretty much gonna replace all the, the bearings here. So I got more parts to order. It's gonna take a while to get it here, but uh, for now, I'm actually just cleaning the pistons. Even though I threw them in a the parts washer, you can still see there's still buildup in there. You can still see that. So I'm gonna clean that up by, let me show you. This is the, the piston piston ring and I broke it in half and I'm just using it. Let me show you guys. There you go, it's much cleaner. I'm gonna close the video here, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I don't wanna make this video too freaking long. And I wanted to just show you guys the engine that I got. Well, stay tuned for the next video. Next video, I'm gonna reveal everything. Make sure you guys like the video, man. I need you guys to like the video so I can get the channel going. It helps out a lot, guys. And make sure you guys subscribe, man, if you guys haven't subscribed. And, uh, I'll see you guys next time, man. Take it easy.